morning, good people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to you too. On the I'm sorry. Welcome back on the road again with your <laughs> Jeep. But good morning, good morning to you too. Uh, we are going up the Trans something mountain over here in El Paso, on the west side of El Paso.
I'm about to go pick up some cat parts down here, take it over to Houston. The load I had earlier today canceled, so I've done 700, 850 miles in the last two days. Today is Tuesday, the 1st of March. So, yep, yep. But yeah. My Disney border, my people, that's Disney Hotel, Mexico, Mexico. But anyway. I'll get back with you all when I get back in the bath in a major way. But she's still rolling. Uh, this, I think this is the turn. Not the turn, but it's either the steering or the... I know the tires go on the ends there, but it's not steering. It must be the rear drive. To one of those big off-road dumps, the big ones. It's a like cat. Something or another, but... Bad. Let me get back some. There we go. They told me it was oversized, but it's not. Might be a little heavy, but it ain't oversized. Overdimensional as far as width. They told me it was 9.5. Well, we're going to hit this road, Jack. We're in Del Rio, Texas. Right by the border, literally. All right, good people. Look at that. Boy, she nasty. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, good it. evening, good evening, good evening there, YouTube. Welcome back to On the Road Again with G Put. Um Last time I spoke to you all face to face was on the 23rd, I think. Yep, that would have been a um, Thursday. Shoot, I don't even know. Anyway, that was a Friday. Mm mm. The fifth, which is my anniversary, was on a Friday. That was a Wednesday when I talked to you all last. I don't know why was that important to me. Anyway, um, I am in Houston, Texas, right now. I got the Austin Road footage down to El Paso on the how I put it together yet. I hadn't done it at the point that I'm doing the video, but by the time you all get this video, you would have had those by now. <laughs> so I have no idea how, at this point, how I did it as far as putting them together. If I cut them up, chopped them up, made it all one video, or what? I have no idea. Um, I am heading, and we got the load done over there in El Paso, which was good, and then I was supposed to go up to um, Cedar Park Texas and do a couple of rounds up there and then come down here and pick this load up that I'm picking up tomorrow morning to go to Iowa. Well, that fell through because the customer, no, the shipper couldn't handle what the customer was needing. So therefore we got kind of caught up in the middle of, as the uh, carrier, uh, he said, she said. <laughs> and a lot of that goes on in trucking. Uh, in transportation and logistics, you know what you said, and, and you know. Anyway, you gotta take the good with the bad. God, leave my back hurt. Anyway, but uh, my um, dispatcher did end up giving me a load from uh, Del Rio, Texas, where that was my last load that you'll see before this uh, video, and I picked that up down there by Mexico, the border, and. Um, It went um, left and down there last night, and um, got you know got up to San Antonio and uh, shut it down. Then um, I should have done a video last night, and I didn't to close out a whole different videos. <laughs> but um, other than that, it's been good. I, I'm going to pick up a uh, some kind of crane part. 
it's the butt end of it or something like that. Anyway, from um, the port of Galveston for Lee Bear Crane, one of the largest crane makers, one, or, yeah, one of them, um, and taking it to Atlantic, Iowa. My route is going to be Texas. Oof, dang it. Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Iowa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm 12 wide. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just thought about that. I ain't getting nowhere this weekend. Anyway, I uh, got the back roads of Arkansas are horrible for a 12 wide load. It's, it's just Arkansas, the state of Arkansas is horrible for a 12 wide load. But anyway, um, I get on the road with that tomorrow. I have pictures or either a video of the machine tomorrow or the piece I'm getting. I just really wanted to close out this video, the series of videos I've had. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do it at this point, but by the time you all get this, it would have been done. Um, but everything's good. I got the truck, finally got the truck washed. And um, I, I guess I'll do a video of that tomorrow as far as um, how it looks right now because I got to back up in that mess. But uh, I got an undercarriage wash and an engine wash because uh, I had to get all that stuff off the, off the bottom of this truck. And um, right now I'm sitting just south of Houston, Clinton, Texas, something like that. But uh, we haven't really been doing it well. Let's see here. You have one hour and 16 minutes of remaining drive time. Wow. Let me see. On Monday, which was the 28th, we did uh, 624 miles because I, I left. We were in El Paso. And I left there, went over to Cedar Park, which is 624 miles, which is just northwest of Austin, Texas. <laughs> and that's when all that mess went down. And I left there and went all oh, the next day, which was uh, the, the first, that was 444 miles from Cedar Park down to Del Rio back up to San Antonio was 444 miles and today we uh, we only did 259 249 miles 250 miles from San Antonio to the port of uh, Houston to our shop in Houston to where I am now so not bad I'm still on recap but I, I'll give me a 34 in this weekend I'm trying I don't have many hours if I have 20 let me see 5 plus Plus six, fifteen, twenty-one hours. So I'm not gonna be able to drive much the next couple of days. I probably drive four or five hours tomorrow if I can get out of here in time. Eight hours on Friday and eight hours on Saturday. Shut down somewhere and then do the rest on Monday. But um, but like I said, I just wanted to come to you all and uh, just close out these videos. Uh, other than that, everything's going pretty good. Can't complain. Can't complain. I will uh, get with you all tomorrow, hopefully. Y'all be good to one another. Do something for somebody outside yourself. Believe me, after talking to one of my cousins, you just never know what people are going through. You think your problems are big, because you're in them, and, and, they, and they are. I'm not gonna minimize anything that anybody has going on in their own, own life, but remember, you're not the only one, and the right person right next to you who you may know and love dearly is going through something that you know nothing about. I got, I got a few cousins that are going through things, and if they didn't talk to me about it, I wouldn't know. Because they don't wear their problems on their face. You know, they, they are strong people. You know, but anyway, y'all be good. Think about somebody else, help somebody else out. You know, it really would do you good. I'm not saying be nosy and be gossipy, but just, uh, you know, take time to get out of your own head. Other than that, uh, like I said, be good. And always remember the truth will be told. She put out.